evil. That they will poison your water. That they will poison your food. Why do you think you're getting cancer at such a high rate? Black people? Israelites? Why do you think you're stricken with so many diseases? High blood pressure. Gout. Hypertension. Cancer. Diabetes. Come on, man. It's not a mistake that we're leading with, with the leaders in all of those categories. HIV, AIDS. Come on, man. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead and finish, uh, my brother. Let's go ahead at verse uh, uh, 4. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of thy wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have pursued to overthrow my goal. And brothers and sisters, that's how we have to pray. That God protect us. Especially our Israelite black men living in this country who are called African American. They are supposed to be the heads, the leaders, brothers and sisters. But there's already been a decree to kill the black male and spare the female. When you go downtown in whatever city you live in, it ain't the black male that's walking down there working. It's the black female that's down there working, brothers and sisters. Society has placed the female above the male amongst our people. But what do we have to do? Last and not least, to end to tonight's show with a little bit of hope. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6. What do we have to do, brothers and sisters? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 and 12, and we're going to go to the phone line. So please, after this, call in to the show, brothers and sisters. Ephesians 6, verse 11 and 12. I'm sorry, brother um, Joe. You were muffled at that because I don't want them to miss that. You were muffled a little bit. Let's go ahead and read that again. Ephesians 6, 11 and 12. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now stop right there. Now when it says put on the whole armor of God, brothers and sisters, it's talking about the word of God. The word of God is all the armor that you need. When you get an opportunity and a chance, read this whole chapter, verse uh, Ephesians chapter 6, by yourself. And it's going to talk about the, the armor of God and what it is in detail. But to sum it all up, the armor of God is the word of God, brothers and sisters. As long as you have the word of God, you are armed to fight any battle against any man, against any spirit, brothers and sisters. But if you don't have the word of God, if you just have what mama said to you, what daddy said to you, what pastor said to you, if that's the only thing you have, then you're not equipped to fight this spiritual war. Uh, put on the whole arm of God. Verse 12, Brother Joe. Yeah, I love, I love this verse. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brothers and sisters, I declare to you on today's lesson, from Egypt to America, the plot to kill the black male but even more specifically, the black Israelite male who is called the African-American brothers and sisters. We don't war against flesh and blood. We war against spiritual wickedness, principalities against powers. Those who are putting estrogen in your food. Those who are putting chemicals in your food. So please, as much as you can, buy organic, brothers and sisters. As much as you can, buy organic, brothers and sisters. Without the pesticides that they put on your fruits and your vegetables. And when you get a chance, start drinking alkaline water, brothers and sisters. And if you don't have enough to buy alkaline water, then start putting lemon and or lime in your water when you drink it, which also alkalines your water. 
There's so much that we can teach on this lesson. And if you have any questions, we can start a thread up under this video. But the phone number, brother uh, uh, and sisters, is right connected to this video at the top. So call into the show right now, 724-444-7444, ID code 98696-POUND, and the pin is 1. We're going to go ahead and go to the phone lines, find out what you thought about tonight's show. For those who are on YouTube, we thank you for listening to tonight's show. I pray that you were edified and that God was glorified in his, in his son's mighty name of Jesus, the name in which every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. I pray these things in that name, brothers and sisters. Amen.